Cathedral Square Park downtown transitioned in January from holiday lights to a different kind of bright display. Light Field by Hybe Kozo is a public art installation of lanterns on land and hung from trees, creating captivating geometric shapes and patterns with colorful lighting. Meet the artists behind Hybe Kozo, one Canadian and one Ukrainian, and see what is involved in bringing this artwork to life in our city. So what is Hybe Kozo? What does it mean? Uh, what is your mission? Hybe Kozo is, is a art practice that explores and showcases um, all elements and dimensions of geometry um, through sculpture. And the name Hibi Kozo is actually an acronym and it stands for the Hyperspace Bypass Construction Zone. So our, our work um, when we began was uh, really about investigating these regular polyhedra um, such as the Platonic solids, the Archimedean solids, the Catalan solids, which is uh, types of shapes defined by mathematical equations that were discovered you know, thousands of years ago. And we really felt like um, it was important to us to make these shapes larger than life. So I guess I was pronouncing it wrong. It's Hibikoso, not Hibikoso. Uh, uh, you know, we um, we made up a sorry. word. There's not really a right way to say yeah. it. <laughs> Elena, Serge, uh, tell me, what is Lightfield? Um, Lightfield is a selection of some of our original sculptures and some of our newest sculptures. It's um, a field of polyhedrons that um, span from a dodecahedron to a truncated octahedron, an installation of eight sculptures um, spanning Cathedral Square Park, along with a set of uh, 16 diamond shaped uh, lanterns scattered throughout the park as well. The artworks themselves feel very familiar at times but at the same time from a distance might feel almost alien. And, you know, they are secular, but they give you sort of this spiritual, religious feeling sometimes. So we want people to, to see the artworks and interpret them however they want. Yeah, we really hope that the people of Milwaukee really appreciate um, having something in the community. And I hope that it leads to more installations in the future. So during the assembly and installation process, there were students from UWM's architectural school there assisting. Is that something that's important to you to get uh, students in involved in this type of work? I, it 100% it is. Um, uh, you know, we've had people help us, whether they're students, whether they're volunteers. These shapes that we're building, you know, these are open shapes to the world. And we want to really share the share these types of geometries with everyone so they can also use them if you're an architect if you're an artist just in your day-to-day -day life understanding the benefits and the properties of these polyhedras is really important so you know everyone knows what a cube is and a pyramid but we really want the dodecahedron to be part of of every creators or artist or architect's vocabulary and a huge reason why we love to engage students is because in some ways this like is an architectural project like this is a project that you would do as like maybe like a review for an architecture or an architectural class because it is investigating these like basic polyhedral forms and they really do make up everything around us you know from studying um, like the way that the, an assembly can work to creating habitats and zero gravity. These shapes are um, an element of our environment and they can help inform design, decision, design decisions. So why public spaces? Why would you, why put it in parks? We really, I think, found like the heart and soul of our practice when we um, started creating artwork for the public. We want the artwork to be accessible by all. We want it to feel accessible. We don't want there to be sort of like um, kind of a, a feeling that, you know, sometimes you go into an art gallery space and you don't necessarily feel welcome. We really want people to be able to come around and um, feel like this is a community-centered project. Yeah, as Yelena said, art galleries can be a little daunting to, to people. 
there's sometimes an admission charge. They don't always feel comfortable. So by bringing art into the public, art is now accessible to all. And that's extremely important. We see examples of teachers bringing their students to our installations in the park to understand the forms and the geometries. We see people just going on a walk, stopping and enjoying art. Bringing art to the public is extremely important to us. It also gives us spaces that allow us to do very large installations. And to kind of add on to that, I think that it's a really great reminder for people to see their public spaces transform into something that is beautiful or interesting. Public art also becomes a meeting place. And so it encourages the growth of community because people interact there, they meet their friends there, they have this shared experience, the whole city can kind of come together. And so art is an important part of, of a vibrant community. I'm Sandy Max. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more arts related stories.